Welcome back. Polling shows most Granite Staters are concerned about issues like housing and the high cost of living. But the New Hampshire House took a bit of a detour last week as state reps debated legislation to ban what they call stratospheric aerosol injection. There was no mention of the word chemtrails in House Bill 1700, but lawmakers brought it up on their own on the House floor. This is the conspiracy theory that condensation trails left by aircraft in the sky are not frozen water vapor, but actually attempts to control the weather or somehow poison populations on the ground. It's been widely and repeatedly debunked by the scientific community, but that wasn't what reps told the public when they took to the House floor last week. I'm not going to speak on what's currently going on in our atmosphere. Always, he's talking about chemtrails. Oh, that's, that's a complete conspiracy. That's not going on. That's never happened. Fine, let's, let's, let's say it hasn't. I have here in my hands federal guidelines, a federal fr framework plan to implement such measures. Weather weaponry is not a novel technology or some far-fetched theory. The theory of and the patents for weather manipulation go back over 100 years. Quote, weather was a weapon in Vietnam. Do you expect them to discontinue this? These trails in the sky that last for the entire day and dissipate to become blanket cloud coverage of our sky are not condensation trails. And one of the more interesting aspects of this bill is that it would require county sheriffs to participate in the investigation of any public complaints brought forward regarding chemtrails. No word on how deputies would patrol or surveil the open skies over the Granite State. This bill was soundly defeated, but 58 reps did vote against killing it.